Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another tutorial about customizing the Divi Builder UI. And you are going to really like this one. Anytime you're writing text in any text area in Divi and it gets a little long, well, you've got to keep scrolling back up to the top to make things bold or to add links or anything like that. So all I'm going to do in this tutorial is give you a snippet where you can make that the text style options, all the little options for your text. It's going to be sticky. So when you scroll down within the Divi Builder text area, it's going to stay right there. All right, let's get started. We're kind of developing a nice little series here about the Divi Builder UI, styling different things within the Divi Builder. Uh, I think we increased the height of the Divi icon picker. Um, we increased the height of the CSS input area and a couple other ones. So this one here is actually one that I find the most useful because I use this one every day. And it's something that I encounter like every time, well, not every time, but a lot of times when I'm in the Builder. And so like, I, I hope you really enjoy this. This is really cool how simple it is. It's literally a snippet of CSS. And this is going to apply um, any module that has a text area, like a, a content area. And you can see here um, how it looks already. We're going to be walking through this, but like um, the ones that I just checked real quick was like the text module, obviously. A blurb module has like the body text, a person module, testimonial module, and pretty sure there's more but um, those for example have you know the text area and so that panel of all the things like changing your paragraph text to an h1 or h2 or bullet points and links and block quotes and it's like there's a lot of things that I use in that like every time I'm in the builder and when the content gets so long you know it doesn't really work um, it just yeah, up and down, up and down. Um, especially like when I'm doing these tutorials, a lot of times I'll have like text areas and it's like, it's like I'm trying to put a link and I'll like scroll way down, find the text, scroll way up, click the link button or whatever with everything, making something bold. It's like really annoying. Right here you can see the snippet of code. Um, where it kind of took me a little while to get this. It took me a while to like figure out what like the CSS class exactly because remember, this is like in the builder. So we, we're not just inspecting the front of our website page. Like I had to like inspect the builder elements itself. Okay. And so I found what is working. Um, I hope they don't change anything. And if they do, like if you're watching this and you're like, hey, this doesn't work, um, it's possibly, you know, something changed in the builder. I'm not sure. Um, so go ahead and click this. You can copy it. Um, it'll say copied to clipboard like that nifty little feature we added and so we're that's all there is We're gonna jump right into it go over to your website That you're gonna use this in and I would recommend using this in all of your websites But anyway put it right here. So go to Divi theme options and We're gonna paste it right here So we're in the theme options panel here now if you have a child theme you could put it there But I'm gonna assume that you don't for this um, if you have a child theme, you know where to put it. Put it in your style.css file. So we're saving this, and then we're going here. Um, actually, um, I'm going to show you how it works without refreshing the page here. So anytime that you have long text like that, you know, and I could be going, going and down and down and down and like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, um, just trying to get the settings there. And again, I added, this is a, I think that, yeah, this is a testimonial module, person module, blurb, and there's other ones, but these kind of give you the idea. So I'm going to, I'm going to refresh my builder right here and show you how that looks when it's fixed. So again, any of these modules just scrolls, right? The whole thing. All right. So here we go. Now we're going to check how that CSS snippet affects everything. So here we are. I'm in a, a text module for this particular one. So I'm going to just start scrolling right here. And you can see clearly that it's sticking to the top. See that? If I uh, make it wide where it's like one row. See that? So yeah, it's, so if I'm like, if I want to make this word bold, 
I can do it right there. If I want to make this a link, I can do it right there. If I want to make this whole thing a, a quote, whatever. Um, you know, it's so nice if I want to change this to H1, right? It's just so nice having it right there, right there in your face. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's literally all there is to this. Um, and yet, it's so simple. And, you know, I can keep scrolling. Uh, it's not really a good example. Basically, I can keep, like, once you scroll past it is what I'm trying to say. Like, see how I go up? It's sticky, meaning it's only going to stick while I'm in this area. If there were more settings right here, like link, background, if there were more, um, it would... It wouldn't just keep coming down, you know what I mean? It would it would stay within this area. So that's what it means when it's sticky. All right, so there you go. Now you know how to make those uh, textile options sticky. I'll tell you what, I use this, and this makes me so happy because I was going back and forth, sometimes really long text areas, you know, especially like adding a link and things like that. So I hope you guys found this useful. We have a whole series dedicated to the Divi Builder UI. So be sure you are subscribed here and be sure to check those out on YouTube here and on our blog. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.